everyone and welcome to my channel. This is a DHT-22. It's both a temperature and a humidity sensor in one package. It's kind of bulky, it's not exactly small, and it has these long wires with this particular package. And I want to um, solder these wires to some male header pins to make it a little bit more easier to deal with the wiring of this. Um, Gardening is, gardening is sort of a hobby of mine, and I like to get into aquaponics and hydroponics. So uh, I'm sort of interested in starting to measure environmental conditions and uh, learn how to uh, do that with the Arduino and maybe get in, into uh, data logging and also remote sensing. So in this experiment, I'm going to hook up this sensor, and then we're going to use... Uh, the uh, serial monitor port uh, and we're going to monitor the humidity and the temperature with this sensor. So let me go ahead I thought I'd solder these male header pins. I was thinking it makes sense to maybe separate the the power and the ground. It's a pretty simple hookup it's just uh, a data wire that's the yellow wire and you've got plus 5 volt the red and the ground for black there is a, an internal 5.1k pull-up resistor between the data line and the 5 volt supply. So I've got the heat shrink positioned where I want it. Pick this up real quick. That's that. So this is going to be a little bit easier to plug into the breadboard with the male header pins on. So I'll plug the sensor in to the breadboard right there and we have 5 volts connect that there we've got ground to the other side and the data pin we're just going to hook up to pin 2 on the Arduino. 0, 1, and 2. That'll be the data input. And that's it. Pretty simple circuit. The rest is accomplished with the software. So a great thing about uh, this open source community and technology is a lot of effort and hard work has gone into making it a lot easier to hook this stuff up. Uh, we can concentrate on understanding the concepts and not uh, having to uh, reinvent the wheel and, and uh, learn how to really get in there and, and code. So there's a library that already exists that uh, has been created for this sensor and you need to, it's usually a zip file and you want to zip that file and then you uh, copy and paste that into your library folder in the um, the IDE, the, Ar the Arduino IDE. So once you pull that library uh, into the Arduino IDE here, uh, you'll have access to the library for that particular part, in this case the sensor, and also uh, an example uh, sketch. So you can see here, this didn't used to exist. I had to uh, pull this into the, into the IDE, into the library folder. So I have this uh, sketch here for DHT tester. And it has an example program for reading the humidity and temperature with the serial monitor program. So like the sketch with the servo and the LCD, we have to import the library. So here we have the... Uh, include dht.h which is importing the sensor library. Here we're defining what pin the data pin is for that sensor. And uh, here is, I think it's the first time we're using this define statement. It's a C component and uh, it's going to allow us to name this sensor as a constant value so here we're using DHT22 is the uh, model number that I'm using. 
So here it looks like uh, we're declaring the pin and the sensor that we're using. So that gives uh, the library useful information. I guess it changes depending on characteristics are going to change depending on what sensor we're using. So here we're starting the void setup. We're setting up the serial communication. Serial begin 9600 baud. And we want to print on a new line DHT. And you just put in whatever model number you're using here, in this case the 22. And we're starting the library, dht.begin. So here we're starting the loop to start reading the temperature and humidity. And we have to have a delay in, I guess the sensor is a little slow uh, in between measurements, so we need like a two second delay. Uh, here we have a float, which is a floating point number, so it has a decimal point. And uh, so float H, so DHT dot, we're reading the humidity and putting that value into the variable H. So here we're reading the temperature. So DHT dot read temperature and we're storing that value in the variable T. So I guess you can get false readings with this uh, temperature and humidity sensor. So we have a line of code in here that checks to see whether the temperature measurement uh, and the humidity measurement are valid. If they are not a valid number, it will print out failed to read from DHT. If it is a valid number, it goes ahead and prints uh, humidity and then it prints uh, the value in H. And then we do a serial print, temperature, and we print what the value is in C. And that continues that loop. So let's take some temperature and humidity measurements, uh, hook it up, and upload the sketch. So I'll upload the sketch. Got the flashing lights. So it looks like it's constantly transmitting data. Got the TX light flashing. So let's open up the monitor program and take a look at the data. Okay, we'll open up the serial monitor program. Here we go. Humidity 27.5%, temperature 20.6 degrees Celsius. So if I put my hand on the sensor, Temperature's going up. Wow, the humidity is really sensitive. That shot up to 99%. See how long it takes to recover. Wow, that took a while to start changing again. It is kind of a slow sensor. So this could be sort of part of a, an environmental control system where if the temperature and the humidity are in a certain at a certain value you want a fan to go on or you want a heater to go on or maybe if the humidity falls below a certain level you have a humidifier go on. So maybe my next experiment will uh, try to hook up the LCD display to have the information read out on the display and see if I maybe get this to activate a motor or a solenoid. Some of the possibilities. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this experiment interesting. Please subscribe and or comment. And I'll see you next video.